Let's continue this with Andreas Krieg. He's an assistant professor at the Defence Studies Department of King's College in London. Joins us now from the British capital. I've got to start with this latest tweet from Donald Trump. So any idea there of what the US president is talking about? Secret enrichment has been going on, he says. Yes, hi, Sammy. I, I really don't think there is much substance to that. I agree with the IAEA's uh, um, assessment of the compliance of Iran with the deal since 2015. And it's been quite, quite obvious that the Iranians have, A, provided much of the access that was needed for the IAEA to do the inspections. They never obstructed it. What was presented to them shows they were very much in compliant, even overly compliant, with that deal. What he might be talking about, and many of those who are critical of the, of the Iran deal and the, critical of the JCPOA have always referred to uh, potential, uh, you know, Iran in being in breach already of, the, of international agreements and uh, the IAEA uh, deals before 2015 by saying they were trying to build a bomb uh, before, to, before the Iran deal, before the JCPOA, and that in itself was in breach. Uh, and and that, might be, that might be very, very likely true, uh, but that is completely irrelevant today because I, I don't think that Iran has, still has a nuclear program. And whether they had one in the past doesn't really play a role today, I think, because we should concentrate on making sure that Iran doesn't get the bomb in the future. And that's why we should look at how compliant the Iranians were and how responsive they were to diplomacy over the last couple of years. And that's why this entire pressure campaign, whether it's in the information space or also uh, militarily uh, on the ground, that is, I think, where the problem lies. And that has kind of led to the most recent escalation. Let's talk about also another issue. Are we, are we likely to see a sort of joint US-European force policing the Straits of Hormuz? Yes, I think, uh, well, I don't know if we're, whether we see this as a joint uh, um, exercise, because Europe is obviously taking quite a different approach to Iran than the US is doing at the moment. But there, it's very important to understand that the Iranians are playing a dual strategy. On the one hand, the government seems to be somewhat willing to negotiate, somewhat willing to talk to the Europeans to salvage the JCPOA. And on the other hand, we've seen the deep state and those components part of the IR, uh, of the Revolutionary Guard, uh, you know, trying to escalate, as we've seen, uh, you know, with attacks on tankers over the, over the last two months. So what we have to do as the West is, yes, we should continue to do uh, open, leave the door open for negotiation, and engaging with the Iranian a government, but at the same time kind of sending clear messages and really clear red lines to the IRGC and other non-state actors that might be working as proxies or surrogates of the Iranians on the ground who have breached red lines in the, in, in, around the Strait of Hormuz. And it is very important that, you know, considering the, the biggest scheme of things, uh, that the Iranians do not, cannot get away with murder, if you will, cannot get away with these asymmetric operations that they have been planning over the last two months and might potentially plan in the future. So considering that, I think having a joint military naval operation in the area is not a bad idea per se, because I think it can, it can create a bit of a deterrence uh, against these asymmetric forces. But there is a bit of caveat here, and this caveat is that the Iranians are driving an asymmetric strategy, right? Asymmetric meaning they're relying on small boats, they're relying on surrogates, and naval ships are not as flexible. They are not as, you know, there is no capacity in the Gulf at the moment, neither on the side of the Americans, the British and the French, nor on the side of the GCC countries. So with a lack of capacity, it is very difficult to really counter that asymmetric strategy that the Iranians are driving. And I think that's the bigger question mark here. And that's why I think a joint naval operation, although it's a right step in the right direction, uh, is not going to be sufficient to actually deter the Iranians from, from escalating further. All right, Andres Krieg there. Thanks so much.